Todd. Is there anybody else here in the break room? No. Good. <laughs> Henderson. Henderson got it. I can't believe it. What are you talking about? What do about? you think I'm talking about? Uh, slow down, buddy. Uh, have a seat. Let me get you some coffee. Start from the beginning. Henderson has not even worked here for a year. What a crock. <clears throat> Didn't get that promotion, huh? Old man Crawford, he looks me right in the face and says that he can't trust my loyalty. Oh, my loyalty. Todd, I have worked here for eight years. If that's not loyalty, I don't know what is. Sugar? And then he says my sales techniques aren't taking advantage of new technology, that I'm not staying sharp. Uh, well, you did skip that training seminar in Tucson a couple months ago. Cream? I have been to 50 of those bore and snore seminars, all right? Uh, but Henderson was there. Wait a minute. Are you, uh, are you jealous? Jealous of what? She's a woman. That has nothing to do with it. Would the fact that she's five years young, younger than you be an issue? You are not making this any easier, okay, pal? Just trying to get to the heart of the matter. The heart of the matter is I was robbed, all right? That corner office and the big bonus should have been mine. I guess you'll take it black. And if Crawford would have simply asked the other people who work in this office, he would have picked the right man or person. He did ask us. About the candidate for promotion? Yeah. And? I recommended Henderson. What? What? You picked a novice saleswoman over me? Why? Because your attitude stinks. Oh, God. You nance around this office like you think you're entitled to everything. Just because you've been here for mm -mm. eight years does not mean that you're entitled to Crawford's favor. Favoritism is more like it. No favor. Yeah. Henderson got the job because she's teachable. Oh, and what am I, bullheaded? Well, you don't have to pretend you know everything. Just, just back off every once All in a right, while. All right, fire away, pal. Anything else? Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't be mad at her. She is an asset to this company. Oh, and what am I, a liability? No. Uh, no, you are good at what you do. You're a great salesman. That's right, number one in my region. Problem is you let everybody know about it. Henderson is willing is to... Is willing to what? Suck up to the boss? Why do you have to consider someone's generosity as sucking oh, up? Oh, come on, Todd. She is duping you. All of her little notes of encouragement, her little acts of kindness, community service projects. It is a sham. She's trying to score points with the boss. Well, she may score points with the boss, but that's not why she does oh, it. Oh, and how do you know? Because I know Sandra. Sandra? <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh. What are you two friends now? Yeah. Yeah, we met at the Boys and Girls Club. We both volunteer there. <laughs> you volunteer at the Boys Club? And Girls Club. You never told me you that. You never asked. You should go there sometime. It's a, it's a real kick. You think you know a guy. <sighs> Listen, three years ago, Sandra lost her two kids and her husband in a horrible car accident. It's taken her a long time to get through the grief and the guilt. I guess after something like that, I, I guess you realize what's really important. So you're saying Crawford promoted her out of sympathy? Look, Jim, she may not have the sales figures that you do, but she brings a lot of intangibles no, no, to no. the table. No, no, no. Intangibles do not sell. It's not always about the bottom line, Jim. Sometimes it's simply about caring it for other people. It is not fair, all right? Crawford's favor should have been mine. Favor is a gift. It isn't a right. You might want to clean up your mess. That's good. <laughs>